Getting a little familiar with this path, aren't we? Hopefully I can get a proper lead from Bad Grief, who, despite his hilarious name, I do kind of believe that he, based on what he said before, like, he might be somebody that doesn't actually lead uh, violent groups. Well, uh, vi violent groups to go on the offense. But we'll have to see. He might point me towards somebody else. I'm trying to remember, I don't... I don't remember Bad Grief calling his group the Barbers, but the, but the Barbers are evidently the group that's a problem right now. Right now my map is so covered in markers that I just have to go part on memory and part on like rereading what all of the uh, waypoints say. Because a bunch of stuff is on there that seems to be like dead ends, like... This is where Ogimski wanted the, the uh, morgue to be, but I think that's irrelevant now because we had to remove that whole original plan about the morgue in the hospital and move on to places that have spring water. So OG plan is defeated at that point, I believe. Wrong side of the building, I'm guessing. Uh, let's deal with uh, hunger a little bit. Hey, if you could just not stab me today. What are you doing? What? What? <laughs> Oh, how it hurts to have your neck strangled. It does. The saber of assholes orders patrols to t make them warehouses too hot for us to lot. For us lot. Like, we ain't no free folks. We're doing the suffering for our fellow men's sins. Oh, really? And you are a righteous people, I suppose. My folks have never taken knives to the streets, so we had a gathering yesterday. Here goes me saying, anyone knife hungry is welcome to get the fuck out of here. You ain't no brother to us. We don't want no blood in our hands. So Barley the Barber did, and got up, got up and got lost. The cunt went to the slaughter, honest folks. Some of us slot went way with him too. Who's Barley? Filthy blood-sucking butcher, that's what he is. He's got one joy, killing them folks. Nothing sacred for the cunt. The rest of them bloodthirsty skunks have gone with them. They have. So tis for their misdeeds that we endure persecution. Tis for their sins that Sabarov sends his rabid mongrels after us. I can see that he's hit a raw nerve in you. They multiply by the hour they do. Every low fuck in this town wants in on Barley's deal. If only you could find their piss hole and kick them out of there, hey doc? They've cut a dreadful lot of folks. And, where, and that's where all the innocent blood flows from. I'd do the supplying part for you then. You'd be swimming in bullets and monies. Nothing too good for a holy cause. Let the cunt bleed dry. I'll kill them. Both ammo and money would be greatly appreciated. Ah, you kind of soul, I swear to you. I won't forget that in forever. As soon as the de deed's done, come back here and I'll shower you with gifts. Do I have your honest, truest, best word? You do. Keep the fee at hand, I'll be back soon. That's a gesture you're making there. I mean, if I can track down the group and deal with them, then that's dealt with. We have one more rival gang's taken care of. They're not constantly making all of our guards have to deal with them instead of the plague. Bad Grief insists that he's an innocent, even though it's not truth. Would he, uh, we will be able to use the villain's feud to our own ends. In the meantime, it wouldn't hurt to tell Sabrov about Barley's secret hideout. Do I know where Barley's secret hideout is? Sabrov's so far away 
Do I need to talk to Savarov first on my own instead of going to Barley? God damn. So much crap going on in this game. Uh, just a little concerned about my travel time here. Uh, I'm not excited about going all the way up to Sabarov. So you go straight outside, even if it's a longer path, because navigating the inside of this place drives me crazy. Sabarov's so far away. I may want to go deal with the cathedral first. It's almost equidistant by comparison. Gives me a chance to take a different path than I have been taking all day, so I get more supplies. And also, I can try to focus on getting the main quest done before the day goes out, so at least then I'm only at risk of failing optional quests instead of the main one. Seems like the way to go. I swear I haven't been around here recently, but they don't... They look empty. Don't be empty. I need your thingamajigs to sell to the children. The children that are presumably just too short to see over the rims of these things, so I have to get the stuff for them. What's in your pockets, pumpkin? Why not? Who doesn't like drugs? Oops. There we go. Got my clicks mixed up a little bit. There was a funny little reoccurring thing for a while there during, I think it was The Last of Us, where I would kind of fall into some kind of vaguely southern accent in certain contexts due to the fact that that's how a lot of the people speak in that game. They'd be either imitating or reading something or whatever the hell. I don't really remember what it was. What I, the, my, the main memory I have is the fact that there was some commenter that was losing their shit. They were so mad every time the accent would show up a little bit. And I did not know because they were they were so non-specific in their complaints, I still don't know if they were mad because uh, they just hate the southern accent, or if they hate mine. <laughs> I can't tell you if they just thought I was doing a really bad job, or if they just hate hearing southern accents, or what. But both are equally funny to me. You know what you need, Mr. Bachelor? A segue. <laughs> That'll save you from your exhaustion meter. All you gotta do is exist in a different time. Eh. Shying away from drugs a little bit for a second. I'm sure my behavior seems really nonsensical and in inconsistent with a lot of the stuff because it is... doing a lot of case-by-case -case attempts at bartering where I don't... I just have a vague idea of like, I've got, I kind of got a lot of that, or kind of don't have a lot of that, and maybe I should keep going and get more, or maybe I shouldn't bother to get more, and it's mostly arbitrary, especially since I don't even have a good idea of how much supply I should have of various kinds. I just don't want to run out of any of them. I like how there's unique NPCs in this zone. Kind of sets it apart. Those two exact ones, basically. They're just some unusual individuals you don't see anywhere else. I think you still see regular adult people here, but you don't see the you don't see worker, you don't see the dock worker looking dude around here, for example. Or the drunk, I think. Could be wrong about the last one. Dankovsky, would you be so kind as to tell me what's going on? Why is the cathedral closed? Olgumsky's men locked it up. Lately, those armed servants of his have been acting like they own the place. He had ordered them straight out uh, to to straight out kill anyone who tries to leave the termitary. And, well, that order did nothing to improve their moral stance. Who has the keys to the cathedral? My cousins have the keys. They both went to the hindquarters on some business with Andrew Stamaton. 
Very well. I'll find your cousins. What? There? But Andre was up there. I get. Uh, no, Andre was there, actually. I guess he would move. He might move a little bit. That's not a plague. Is that a plague right now? I don't know. I think that's plague and that's plague. Not, not, not great across the board. So I need to go back to Sabarov anyway, so that worked out really nicely for me. Thank you, video game, for your help. That's Bado Lad, that's the same guy, I think. Uh, take the north gate, I guess. Uh, have I talked to... I haven't talked to anyone in this entire building area today. I should check in. Or maybe I did, I might have, I might have talked to them in the morning. That's what I often do. If we conquer our path, mm. this might this kind of might just not be their day. I'm gonna move on for this for want of lost time. But uh, yeah, I think I I probably talked to all of them first thing in the morning on the way to the theater because that's I tend to sleep around here. Makes sense to me. What a difference it makes to have a nice night of sleep in this game instead of what I did in the past of uh, not taking all the drugs so I didn't fill up my entire... I didn't deplete my exhaustion meter overnight like I did this time. It's still pretty far away. Uh, based on the time of day, I it might not be a problem until it's about time to sleep anyway. So drugs are the answer. I just need lots of drugs. And honestly, I might even already have enough. I can stock up on a bit, but say I say I take like two of them per night uh, to sleep. That's uh, that'd go pretty well for me. Did that quest just not proceed? Uh, I think I'm gonna check in on her. I think I'm gonna take the drugs. I, 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 yeah. Got stuck on people. The fact that the quest has not proceeded, despite the fact that I've checked with that person, makes me think that maybe it's like, maybe you have to take them from her in order to make it happen. I'm a little past being picky about the bandages because they don't seem to show up often enough. I've changed my mind. Gimme. It's not just morphine. There's also atorphine and novocaine. Take them. Thank you. And remember not to go outside. This is the house they're planning to test the drugs in. They're already waiting for test subjects willing to risk their lives. Alright, so yeah, I did have to do that. Weird. Weird that they phrase it like it's a... They frame it like an option. It's like the, the people... Eh. I'm a little frustrated with that, actually. They, uh, they phrase it like... Like, the choice is to take them from her or she's gonna give it to the guards so they can help themselves. It didn't seem to be for testing purposes. But I can't do the test unless I take them, evidently. Hi, little girl. Was your was your uh, your bachelor radar going off? The way that you just spin around instantly. Uh, I don't need more, do I? I don't know. They're valuable, though, at the very least. Definitely worth a bit of money. Doesn't hurt to have them. The one downside of. Uh, Rewinding that little bit I rewound is that I lost my progress of the fact that I stabbed that one dude and it made the reputation meter get off my screen. So briefly I was free of the game judging me and warning me all the time. What's in your pockets, pumpkin? Nothing. Absolutely nothing.
Up to Sabarov. Oh, is that pipe gonna be in my way? Oh no. Hey, tell me I can jump over this. Please, come on. You don't have to be such a dick about it. What is the point of that entire area then? All this walkway. This entire area is blocked off and pedestrians can't get through it. This seems really douchey at some point. Uh. Which way is better to go? I might as well go this way, I guess. I was tempting to... Tempted so much to, to go the... Oh god, I'm backtracking through so much. I was tempted to go to the southern bridge and then loop up and talk to the other people first or something. Tempted. But this does seem like a smarter path. On some level. Oh, who's a fun little playground with like corpses and stuff in it? God damn it, this is also an entrapped spot. Ah. Uh, let me through. All my attempts to hurry are failing. Oh, cool. Exhaustion. Good. Just add that to my pile. That's the bridge. Is Sabarov even going to listen to this information? Maybe he will because his wife also kind of supports this argument. Bali the Barber is the leader of the gang. Hmm, some barber. Oh, so you know already. <laughs> We will bring order to this place with an iron fist. Grief insists that he has nothing to do with it. The murderers are misfits that he cast out of his community. Are you sure? I th you seem sure. You just said it a second ago out loud with your voice. He swears that he has forbidden anyone who, will, who is still loyal to the ancient tradition of their brotherhood from touching a knife. Don't, when I walk in, aren't there like two guys standing there with knives? What the fuck? The murderers are not warehouse men. They're allies from of some Barley the Barber. Yeah, I've heard that name. His men ambush and slaughter the patrolmen near the boiler house. We need to hunt him down and kill him. Then. Better yet, uh, hunt him down and thoroughly interrogate him. See if he confirms grief's words. Barley will be killed. There? Right by the morgue, huh? Uh, I'm just running in circles on this goddamn map! Ah! I just did almost this exact path, like... an hour ago. Or three hours ago, or I don't know. It's, uh... It's like six o'clock now? Been some time. Been some time and I'm not psyched about it, so we're trying to get there. The Cathedral Keys, that's the big main quest. As long as I get that done, we're good. Everything else is icing. And opportunities for additional resources, or reputation, or story and stuff. But main quest is big deal. Always save first. Never know when you're going to walk into a building and it's just full of bad... Oh, wait. This is your house. <laughs> Mixed up my markers for a second there. Yeah. It's a bad neighborhood. You coming at me? What's that? 
What's going on? Uh, today's quest. No. What? The confrontation was a failure. The patrolmen suffered a brutal defeat. However, they they succeeded in slaying many of the barbers in the attempt. The underworld has a wash with blood. If there was ever a perfect moment to storm Barley's lair and emerge victorious, then this may well be it. Taking advantage of all the chaos may just help keep uh, give me the leg up I need. My little ace in the hole, so to speak. That's not related to this, though. I must have gotten a letter. Yeah. Of the bound fallen ill. The following sanitary precautions are hereby announced. There are citizens, so-called bound, who seem to be extraordinarily involved in town's happenings. They are regularly con uh, contacted by people who of different lines of occupation and social standing, including your two colleagues. They also try to compensate what they believe to be your inaction with their own efforts. In consideration of that, the executor committee has decided if a bound person falls ill, the door to their home should be guarded by an executor. While the bound person remains conscious, the executor should collect mail deliveries from them and pass over to them the provisions and meta medicaments delivered by the couriers. Uh, in exceptional cases, is is allowed to visit is allowed to visit the patient to enable communication with the bound person. The executor should resort to higher efficiency antibiotic medicine. Chromycinium. Vaccines, serums, and other such solutions should be administered if available in the same manner as all of the above. Executor's committee. Let's review the bound. Is it going to say that one of them has fallen ill, or is this just like a general message? List of bound is T. Was all this here before? It doesn't mention something being in... There's no mention of any of them being in trouble. What is this? Georgie Kane, people are willing to take the fall for reasons most peculiar. Cold calculation, despair, duty, even love. By the way, this is the tiniest goddamn text. There's so much screen left, guys. You can make the interface bigger, it's okay. Uh, cold calculation, despair, duty, and even love. Today, a new opportunity to step closer to the victory came up. Having learned about this, a few people have abandoned the safety of their homes, endeavoring to assist you in your efforts. If you value their lives, find a way to fulfill the current goal until nightfall. If you couldn't care less, let them do as they please. You have still a few people left who are willing to sacrifice themselves for your cause. So yeah, that, that was the thing that came up before, is I I, uh, I said I wouldn't do a quest, and they were like, uh, the volunteers are on it, let's see how it goes. And I'm like, and, but I, I know that that's supposed to be bad in this game, if you let the, if you let, if you let the, your guys take care of it for you. Pain. What is this? Yeah. Creepy. Uh. This seems not. This seems thoroughly not good. Shit. I'm gonna keep looking around a bit. Uh, don't walk into that. Uh, come on. I'm just not, I'm not sure what's going on with these guys, but there's a whole bunch of them here. Uh, Twiring's not very effective. Ooh. Morphine does it. Mm. 
So what does this actually do? Oh. You alright? Oh, he died. I'm just looting him now. Oh. And that made them like me more? I just killed that guy. I treated him for his pain by murdering him. Or, not a murder, whatever. It's the, the, what's the word? Assisted suicide, whatever. There's a word for it that I'm not thinking of right now. Are you the guy I'm looking for, actually? You're out of place here. This is the wrong, you're the wrong character model. Denkowski, finally. I've been looking for you. Taking the opportunity, I'd like to show you, say how much we admire your fearlessness and the fact that you're unafraid to walk this hell personally. You're, well, good job, thank you. Forget it, why are you looking for me? Oh, right, I have the key to the cathedral. Big Black told me you were going to turn it into a ward? I am. You know, our cathedral, oh, never mind, I don't want to waste your time whining. What I wanted to say is that this may be the only chance for it to fulfill its purpose. Perhaps it will finally host a miracle after all. That's fine. Give me the keys. And I bid you farewell. It seems unlikely I'll be able to get out of here at all. I have a bad feeling about it, but I wish you the best of luck. Uh, come with me? Why are you guys just in the middle of death zones besides to the contrivance of a weird quest, I guess? We're not even that far from the exit. It's just this way. Not even a hazard between us and there? Come here. You can just walk in. Ah. Uh. Hey, there's a creepy, creepy, ay, 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 ay. I hate that. I hate how it just happens at me. There we go, we did it. Most grateful for your company. I just knew I wouldn't be able to leave the place trouble free. Trouble free. I had a gut feeling. Is there anything I can offer you for, to, uh, in return for the favor? Uh, money always works. Can't say I'm a wealthy person. I'm almost broke, but I do have a small bottle of a certain precious beverage. You know what that is? Twyrene? The main issue with Twyrene is its unpredictability. Drinking it suddenly boosts your immunity, and then after some time, it's gone. Similarly, without warning. Sometimes there's no effect at all. But, well, it's not so well loved for its effect. Those helpful properties were only discovered after the plague broke out. Thank you. I'll take it. I can probably sell it at the very least. Now it's the quest like. Right, I still have to investigate the buildings, right? And down here is the abandoned building that I need to deal with. Should I deal with that now? It's six. I'm not super screwed on time right now. Do you, like, not be creepy as shit? Please? I might need your help. I have weapons, right? I just blew all my money. But I'm supposed to get paid for this mission, right? So I'm blowing my money for the purpose of using it... To survive this combat mission. And then I'm supposed to get paid afterwards. Also, I've got my money, I've got my food right now, so losing my money is not that big of a deal. I can deal with having less money for a bit. They, it's really creepy how they just home in on me specifically. Like, there are other people around here. Meanwhile, these other villagers are just casually walking by them, and not... They don't seem worried? This is it, right? No, it's behind it. I'll find this lair of lawlessness. If it's the last thing I do. Am I still plague free? Yeah, I'm still plague free. Oh, there's a wall on this side. Crap. Probably try this side then. There we go. Hungry again, huh?
Да. Да. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, my quick save was a while ago, wasn't it? It's fine. Uh, just go for a little jog. Who's that guy? That might be Sabarov. I think that's Sabarov. He looks really different, though. Uh, back here. Yep. As it goes. Oh, about to get yourself decked. You chose poorly, dude. Alright, so note to self, quick save outside of that door, pull out gun, because it, it's going to happen, evidently. Holy crap, the moment I walked in, a horde of them, like a hilarious horde of them just came in. It'd be great if this was like one of many other games that have like mines and area of effect attacks, but I've got a stabby knife and a gun that I've never fired before, so this may take a few tries. I'm going from zero combat experience to let's do the hardest combat ever, <laughs> apparently. And I'm not super uh, enthusiastic about it, optimistic about it, not exactly. How about we do a barter? Well, fuck you then. This game's especially brutal compared to some similar games in that uh, there's no Elder Scrolls Fallout style pause at any kind. Like, if you want to use an item from your inventory or change your equipment, uh, you better have some kind of hotkey or something. Because, oh no, I didn't have it. I didn't have it repaired. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't quick save? Ah, uh, let's quick save anyway. I'll have two quick saves any at the moment. Let's review controls for gun. Attack is left, yeah, left mouse button. Reload is R. It seems straightforward. Holding at an interesting angle. See, so reloading it now. Okay. What could go wrong? This is working. Oh uh, yeah, this is working. <laughs> I'm doomed. I'm doomed. <laughs> well. Good news is they died. Some of them. Bad news is, uh, it's a lot of fucking enemies to fight. And also, my accuracy is severely reduced, seemingly, by the lack of repairs. Ah. Is that the dock worker that I need? No, it's the random dudes. Ah. 